Hey guys, what's up? For those of you who don't know me, I'm Kojak, and today we're going to talk about the patches that you can receive in Clan Wars, but what you have to do to get them. Let me show you what I mean here. Go to create a soldier, make sure you have your soldier selected, X for customize, and go down to patches. If you go over to classified patches, this is where you're going to find your Clan War stuff. And you can see here from the blue skull here, the Cyclops patch, down to Jungle Fever, all say earned in Clan Wars. Now, it doesn't tell you how to receive those, so that's what I'm going to do today for you. The first one is a Cyclops patch, or Committed, you receive by holding four targets simultaneously. The next one here, Surveyor, or the Purple Skull patch, you receive by capturing five targets during Clan War. Here you have Unwavering, or the Mummy Patch, hold the target for three days. Now if we go down, we'll see there's a Ninja Patch here, or End Game is the name of the achievement. Finish a Clan War holding five targets. Next, you have your Dead Gnome Patch, which you receive for qualifying for Gold Division and Clan Wars. Next is the Platinum Division, or the Demon Patch which, from the name, you can assume that it's for qualifying for a Platinum Division in Clan Wars. Now, the next one, and the rest of them down, from the Hot Dog down to here, are all for winning, or becoming, top three in the Clan Wars, and I'll tell you which ones are which. The Hot Dog here is called Sharkbait, finishing the top three of the San Diego Clan War. Next one here, is the Night Owl Patch, or the Dead Owl Patch. Night Owl is the achievement, finish in the top three of the London Clan War. Next you have the Robot Patch, or the achievement Liftoff, finish in the top three of the Cape Canaveral Clan War. Next one here you have the Crab Patch, which you receive from finishing in top three of the Costa Rica Clan War. Next, you have a couple bags of money, and you're going to find that one completed when you finish in the top three of the Las Vegas Clan Wars. Come down here, and you've got the Bling Bling Mouth. That one is for finishing top three in the Los Angeles Clan War, which we have already had, and I did not know that it had started, so we did not participate in that. But that's the Gold Grill Patch, if you have it already. Next, you have Sea Legs, which was... From the last clan war, the Private Skull Patch, which you receive for finishing top three in the Oahu clan war. Next you have a Vulture, and that is for finishing top three in the Gulf of Mexico clan war. Then you have this very angry Gargoyle Patch for finishing in the top three of the Caracas clan war, which we are currently on. Next you have an Injured Octopus, that one you receive for finishing top three in the Colorado Springs clan war. Then we have the Yeti Patch for finishing in the top three of the Antarctic Clan War. And just an interesting fact about me that none of you guys know about, I've been to Antarctica. I've played with the penguins, it was on Christmas, we were down there for two weeks, it was awesome. Now, the last one here is the Jungle Fever achievement, and it's the Warrior Mask Patch. And this is for finishing in the top three of the Yucatan Jungle. Now, there are other things that you can receive, other achievements, but they're not shown in-game. Well, at least some of them. Follow me over to the reticles in a class, and I'll show you what I mean. So if we go over to reticles, let me make sure that I have a red dot on. Oh. There we go. Red dot. Now if you go down to the triad symbol, that is Taste of Victory, and you earn that from winning a clan war. Some of the things you can unlock that aren't in game are the emblems for creating emblems for your clan. One you receive is a gold chain emblem or no holds bar which you can receive for capturing three points within a 24 hour period in a clan war. Next is wing emblem. Be the first clan to capture a target within a clan war. Next you have brass knuckles emblem earn 1,000 capture points in Clan Wars. And then you have the Ninja Emblem, which is capture all targets during the Clan War, or the full sweep. Now if we head over to customization again, and we go down to uniform, all the way in the bottom,